Word problem involving addition or subtraction of mixed numbers with different denominators. In your Alex Pi, mouse over the green slice, arithmetic readiness, to reveal the drop down list of topics you need to cover. Click on Word problem involving addition or subtraction of mixed numbers with different denominators. Here's an example problem. Kayla used 1 8 gallons of gas on Saturday and 3 and a half gallons of gas on Sunday. How many more gallons of gas did she use on Sunday? Write your answer as a mixed number in simplest form. Let's click explain. We have to find the difference between the amounts of gas used. That is, we subtract. Kayla used more gas on Sunday than on Saturday. So we want to find 3 and a half minus 1 eighth. First, we'll rewrite 3 and a half and 1 eighth with common denominators. We'll use the least common denominator, 8. So we only have to rewrite 3 and a half. So 2 times 4 is 8. So we have to do 1 times 4, which is 4. So 3 and a half rewritten with a common denominator of 8 is 3 and 4 eighths. Now we can subtract. 3 and 4 eighths minus 1 eighth is 3 and 3 eighths. And 3 and 3 eighths is already in simplest form, so that's my final answer. So Kayla used 3 and 3 eighths gallons more on Sunday. Let's try another one. In February, the amount of snowfall was 1 8 feet. In January, the amount of snowfall was 2 and 3 fourths feet. What was the amount of snowfall in the two months combined? Write your answer as a mixed number in simplest form. Here are my notes. In the original problem, it said in February the amount of snowfall was 1 8 feet. In January, the amount of snowfall was 2 and 3 fourths feet. And it wants to know what's the amount of snowfall in the two months combined. That keyword combined tells us that we're going to add these two numbers. And then um, the next thing we need to do is with 1 8 and 2 and 3 fourths, they have unlike denominators. So I need to find the least common denominator for 4 and 8, which is 8. And so the 1 8 I'm going to leave alone, but the 2 and 3 fourths, I need to rewrite it so that it's in eighths. So that's down here. 4 times 2 is 8, so I need to multiply in the numerator times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So 2 and 6 eighths is my equivalent fraction to 2 and 3 fourths. But now they're both in eighths, so I can go ahead and add. 1 eighth plus 2 and 6 eighths is 2 and 7 eighths. 2 and 7 eighths is simplified. I can't reduce it any further, so that's my final answer. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes. 2 and 7 eighths. and click next and it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.